Welcome back to Chattery Included, where I, Bansha, am taking advantage of the fact that people in my life don't watch my videos, so I can post what I'm going to be doing for them for Christmas, and they will be none the wiser. Today's illustration is much more simple than I made it out to be, but that's alright, because in the end, I got it done in only like an hour and a half, start to finish. Just know that while I was drawing, it was after bedtime again, and yes, I know I should stop doing that, and I kind of lost my brain very early on and kept making very tired decisions that were going to make things harder for me in some places. But, but don't look at those places, it's fine. So you know the saying, birds of the feather flock together? My friends definitely fall into that category. Most of them like the same things with the few who don't being converted very slowly over time. And uh, fortunately, I never had to convert any of my friends into liking Pokemon. It's just kind of a requirement for when I even start to consider friendship. Like, for real, there is literally a Pokemon for everyone. My mom has never picked up the games or watched the show, but she's thrown enough parties to have a favorite. It is Jigglypuff, thank you for asking. With money being tight and stress being extra high this year, I was scrolling through gift ideas when I came across this video of how to make homemade booster packs of Pokemon cards, and I thought it was a really neat idea, and it wouldn't be the first time I've done something like this, so I figured yeah, this is probably a really easy thing to do for a couple of people. Mostly stress-free, nearly costless because I already have most of the materials. Seems like a good thing. It's not even the first time I've made Pokemon cards. Okay, well, hopefully this will be the first time I make good Pokemon cards. The last attempt didn't go so hot, and I still gave them as gifts, but we're not here to sell ourselves short or cringe at our 2019 selves. We're here to improve. Kind of like redeeming myself. The last time I made Pokemon cards, which I mentioned was in like 2019, um, I didn't know about standard card sizes, I d had decided to buy off more than I could chew, and designed Pokemons after my friend's pets, and my skills were not sharp enough for the task at hand, neither in the art or the crafting. But now, I'm glad to say that at least the art has improved. For these booster packs, I had originally intended to do four cards. A trainer card of the friend, which I love doing and I think I've done on the channel before, a Pokemon card of their Pokemon, uh, like Sabrina's Ghastly or Lieutenant Surge's Raichu, and then I was going to go the pet route again and design Pokemon after their pets, but Christmas is in like 13 days and I am bad at designing, so I took that one out. And lastly, I was going to throw in an energy card of their Pokemon, but I'm gonna have to look through my Pokemon cards to see if I even have a fairy type energy, because I don't think I do. I also think I'm going to do a little card that's not quite a Pokemon card. Oh, okay. Yes, it is. Never mind. It's gonna be a. Fr it's gonna be framed like an item card, and it'll be the same for every pack that just says something along the lines of the Golden Girls theme song and Merry Christmas. I also figured to further personalize them that I wouldn't do two of the same types. Kind of keep everyone in their own little. That sounds bad. It's not that I want to keep them in a box. It's that I want to keep them like feeling individually good and then having their own type specialty. I don't know where I'm going with this. Um, I wasn't going to do two of the same type of cards, uh, but now that I'm thinking about the energy cards, this is a really good thing because uh, I have another friend whose favorite Pokemon is also a fairy type. So um, there'll be some adjustments here and there, but it's cool, it's cool. Uh, no one's going to be disappointed to receive their own custom, very own special Pokemon. In order to make the Pokemon that very own special Pokemon, I had to change little things here and there. So for this Togepi specifically, I thought my friend might like to be able to tell it apart from any of the others out there. So I made the markings on this eggshell into little hearts, and I made the eyes purplish because I didn't want to squint at a bunch of screen caps to find out if Togepi's eyes actually had color or not. It's the little things. The problem with having different types and whatnot is that I'm going to be looking at what my friends like so some are going to be a lot more simple than others. Like, Togepi is hard to screw up. But if I have to draw, like, a Coridon, I might as well just chop off my hands and ask Dark Magic to do the work. The more details, obviously, the harder it's going to be. So for that reason, I probably won't post any more of these cards that I'm doing. Uh, if I do, it'll only be, like, one more. 
but I, I really need to focus on um, getting them done as opposed to posting them online. I might take a break the week of Christmas because it can get very hectic and uh, all that, but drawing is stress relieving to an extent, so who knows, maybe I'll get something out. Just uh, I'm not promising a video the week of Christmas is all I'm saying. If I'm being very honest, the hardest part of doing videos like this isn't the drawing or the video editing. It's the audio. I know I've gone on this tangent before, but not having a lot of quality recording time, my audio setup isn't really ideal, it's just what I have to work with, but the most recent thing I've run into is that talking to your computer for funsies is kind of hard. Like, I know I've been doing this for, I think, a year now, but like, I started off very strong with not having to talk to my computer much. My laptop isn't really much of a conversational. I'm grasping at straws to find something to say. <laughs> But if I don't say anything, then the chattery part of the channel name just kind of goes in the trash. So I'm, I'm doing my best here. Thankfully, Chen and I are working on a schedule for recording for the new year, so fingers crossed that we can get back to more regularly scheduled nonsense that we were doing earlier this year. For now, though, you gotta deal with me. Feel blessed or whatever it is that people with high confidence say. Uh, full disclosure. I drew the window art on the card, but I did not have the motivation to go through and find a move, type up what it does, change the numbers and everything else on the card. So I'm going to be using scans of pre-existing cards for the final details. I'm here to doodle and mess around, not think logistically or deep dive into move combos or damage counters. So while I initially have a blank card template off Google, I did go back and get one that had all of that filled out. I do have to go back and change the illustrator portion, but I did put my friend's name and their Pokemon at the top. So I think they're gonna like this. So what do you think? Would you like your very own Pokemon card? Do you think you'd ever undergo the task of trying to create one? I'll be honest, it's not as difficult as I make it out to be but it does require just a little bit of a creativity. Thank you for sticking around for yet another video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Stay safe this holiday season. Bye-bye.